sequence, practice number five. What two numbers should be placed in the blanks so that the difference between the consecutive numbers is the same? Key here is consecutive numbers. What does it mean to have consecutive numbers? That's like how we count one, two, three, four, and so on, okay? So I believe the fastest way to do this is to simply plug in the numbers. It says that the number should be placed between them. The number should be placed between them in these blanks so that the consecutive numbers have the same difference. That means they're going to be between 14 and 47. I can already cancel out A because 11 would occur over here. It's not between them. So I'm going to start with B. So really lightly, I'm going to write a 25 and a 36. And if you can do quick mental math, that's going to speed things up for you. If not, you're going to grab a graphing calculator. The difference between 14 and 25, you could subtract them, excuse me, is a difference of 11. So this is a difference of 11. The difference between 25 and 36 is also a difference of 11. Again, if you can do mental math, it will speed things up. And the difference between 47 and 36 is a difference of 11. So just by chance, we were able to locate the answer on our first try. Consecutive numbers, so 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 47. And the difference between the ones that we have identified is 11. Please flip to the back. You have one minute to complete the independent practice problem on the back. Okay, and stop. Now, for this problem, if there was no time limit, I think that you could continue to create this pattern, but you'd go all the way out to 50, which would take a really long time, and then you'd count how many asterisks are in row 50. But there's a quicker way. And remember, when you're doing timed, standardized tests, you need to think about testing practice. What's the quickest way to get this answer? We can see that the first line, or row one, has one asterisk. So row one has one asterisk. If you're confused what I'm talking about, Think of this right now by counting the number of asterisks. We start with 1, then 3, then 5, and then 7. And we are consistently adding 2. It's an arithmetic sequence. So we start with 1, and we're consistently adding 2. The general equation for an arithmetic sequence looks like this. So I'm now going to replace a sub 1 and d with the following numbers. And I'm going to distribute the two and combine like terms. Now that doesn't give me the answer quite yet. Now I have to read the question and it says in row 50. So I'm going to replace an n with a 50. I know 2 times 50 is 100. Take one away from 100 and you get an answer of 99. 